Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of April 30th. And today I'm using a different deck. It's another deck by Chiro Marchetti called the Tarot Grand Lux. Okay, so the theme for this week is the Ace of Wands. You can see the wand here with the green shoots, behind it the fierce dragon and all the fire. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. And um, the Ace, of course, is all potential, all possibilities. So your theme for this week is to look to, uh, for that new creative project that is just a um, wanting to explode from within, that's ready to get out there and start growing. What's that new idea, that new desire to create that you've had? Um, it'll pop up this week and just pay attention to it. Also within the realm of wands, we have for the focus the seven of wands. Again, element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. You can see this knight or, or um, soldier of the realm up on top of the battlements, uh, the other wands trying to uh, assail him or take over the battlements and he's uh, fighting them off. So your focus this week is how you deal with creativity and competition. How do you rise above others so that others can see your work and its unique qualities, the gifts that you have to offer. Um, it doesn't do you any good to be down in the center of the castle trying to uh, strengthen your position. You need to be up where you can see where the competition is um, and, and so forth and what you need to do in order to rise above. And talking about rising above, here's one of my favorite cards. This is the Major Arcana card, Temperance. And you can see she's uh, on with her wings elevated uh, and holding in one hand a cup that this red energy is represents fire, and in the other hand the cup that represents the blue energy of water. And she the energy moves back and forth between the two. She really allows a balance and an intermingling of what seem to be opposites. She's the card of creativity, of inspiration, and just. You know, she's in, in other cases, I think of her as the goddess Brigitte, the patron goddess of the well and the forge. Temperance, also that idea of tempering. Her ideas and inspirations help you get stronger in your creativity. And then finally, the gift this week is the element of coins, the king of coins. Look how strong and uh, wonderful he is, surrounded by the animals of the forest, the kind of antlers on his head, and this beautiful gold coin in the middle. Look for the gift of someone in your environment who knows how to make this grow, who knows how to, it keeps, is grounded, practical, it might be an accountant, it might be a business partner, it might be a, a, a marketing um, coach, somebody who really knows how to get your work out in the world and make it produce the green. So as we look at the story for the week, this is it's an interesting story because it's, there's a lot of movement and a lot of action and potential here. We start off with the uh, theme of the week, which is that a desire to create that new idea, that new project that has all this fiery energy behind it, but also the green growth at the, at the uh, top of the wand. So really be aware of you know those moments of ideas and inspirations for new work that you have this week. Then focus on how do I help others see this, my strengths and my gifts in my creative work? How do I rise above the market in the market um, and let others see the beauty and the wonder and the, um, just the magnificent of the creativity that I have? And then take action this week. Use temperance to help you create, to help you strengthen your creativity and your creative work, that mix of desire and of love, the compassion and the, and the passion that you have in your work, that balance, that mix back and forth. And then finally, look for the gift of someone in your environment who can really help you um, in a practical way, market your work and, and help it produce the green. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.